Hey basketball fans, we got a big show on tap for you guys today, but first, get subscribed to us here at Chat Sports. Myself, Harrison Graham, Chase Sr., a lot of the guys here at the Chat Sports office, we're grinding to get to 250,000 subscribers with daily NFL and NBA videos. Chase, you've been here a couple of months, and uh, we're closing in on 250K. Closing in on 250,000 subscribers, and for NBA fans out there, you got to subscribe, because we don't know what's going to happen in the NBA playoffs. I think we do know NBA offseason season is going to be lit. And speaking of that, we got some juicy major NBA rumors, including some trade rumors out there. That's all starting right now. Let's start today's show with Chris Paul, the Suns guard, who congrats to Phoenix, by the way, advancing in the playoffs. Looks like he's going to opt out. This report coming from Bleacher Report, Eric Pink is saying that it's trending toward a CP3 opt-out. He might be looking for a three-year deal in the range of about $100 million, Chase. Three-year deal, totally feasible. I think he has a lot left. And according to people in Chris Paul's camp, he went to Phoenix for business and personal reasons, as well as professional reasons, right? Well, he's taking care of the business reasons right here. He's going to get paid, and he is due to get paid like one of the best point guards across the entire NBA. And professionally, stay here in Phoenix because they have a young star-studded team that really impressed me in the first round. Yeah, we'll see how the rest of the season goes. But as we kind of look to the offseason, I think this is a calculated move because you see the number there. You're saying, wow, he's going to opt out of a $44 million player option. Well, we've already seen a shoulder injury flare up in the playoffs here yeah. for CP3. He might be thinking, hey, I've had some injuries in recent year years. What if I opt in and I have a major injury next year and then – I don't get another contract after that. So sure, maybe he gets a little less in the next year, but the three-year security, 30, 33 million per year, I think it's a calculated long-term play for Chris Paul. And like you mentioned, Chase, what he's done this year, he's proven when healthy, which he's been able to stay healthy pretty much the past two years with OKC and Phoenix. He's still one of the best point guards and floor generals in the game. No doubt, and one of the best point guards of all time. And he was able to put up these numbers while still staying fresh. Only had to play less than 32 minutes per game. So I think moving forward for the betterment of Chris Paul's career, stay in Phoenix, great weather, you're going to get paid. You get to team up alongside Devin Booker, who just dominated the Lakers in the first round. And DeAndre Ayton has really proven himself to have a very bright future and be one of the best bigs across the entire league. Yeah, I'm with you. I think staying in Phoenix is a good move. I did want to mention a couple of other teams that I think would at least try to get him on the phone if he formally opts out. I think if he opts out, he's just re-signing a new deal. But I think the Lakers would be interested if they can financially move a couple of contracts around. I think it was a big miss on their part to not trade for Kyle Lowry. The New York Knicks, I think they're a big-time, you know, flashy player away from maybe being a factor in the Eastern Conference. And then how about the Miami Heat? We've heard those rumors before between CP3 and Miami. They flamed out, no pun intended, in round one of the playoffs this year. Maybe they would be in the mix, but uh, I'm in agreement with you. Just stay in Phoenix. Like, you're yeah. in a situation where you can chase titles for a couple years down the end of your career if you're Chris Paul. You can chase a title this year. I think the Phoenix Suns are that good. And if he's healthy and comes back from that shoulder injury, I think the Suns are primed to make a deep run. Yeah, so you think he should stay in Phoenix. I think he should stay in Phoenix. I think that's an absolute no-brainer for Chris Paul. But it is a little bit interesting that it looks like uh, he will actually opt out and stay on a longer-term deal, which actually gives Phoenix more flexibility in free agency this offseason if that number lowers from $44 million, which is what his player option would be. So what do you think? Will Chris Paul re-sign with the Phoenix Suns? Chase and I both believe he will. Type Y for yes. Type in for no. Get your votes in on this one. Will CP3 stay in Arizona with the Phoenix Suns? Now, today's sponsor is Newsbreak. The Newsbreak app, we partnered with these guys a couple of months ago. And for Chase and I, it's changed our lives. Newspapers, psh, they're a thing of the past. And I still like keeping up with local news uh, outside of sports as well. And the best way to do that is to download the Newsbreak app. It's all aggregated onto one feed. All your favorite stories, you're synced up with your zip code through the app. It's a great Great deal, and congratulations to the first 100 people that comment on this video. Chase and I, we're going to reply the link to you in the comments. You see it down below, chatsports.com slash newsbreak. So comment anything right now. Just type the number one, whatever it is. It does not matter. 
We will reply the link to the first 100 people. That way you can download the Newsbreak app on your mobile phone when you go to chatsports.com slash newsbreak. Local news, weather, politics, sports, and hey, some videos from us here at Chat Sports. Download the app today. We'll send that link to the first 100 people that comment. Oh, we had to cover this one, Chase. LeBron, is he retiring? Of course not. But for some reason, Channing Fry, his former teammate, uh, said if LeBron's scoring less than 25 points per game, which, by the way, he averaged 25 this year, he should just retire. What is going on? And then Twitter takes off last night, and, uh, oh, maybe it's time. Father time has hit LeBron. Look, the Lakers had deeper issues than LeBron James this year. I hate to break it to you guys. Look, LeBron James is set. He's living in Los Angeles. He's <laughs> making a boatload of money. He is going to be able to be on the set of Space Jam Still this year. Still a top year. five player He in has the four titles. He's a top five player in the league right now. One of the best of all time. Maybe second behind Michael Jordan. Just won a title last year, bringing a championship to three different franchises. And people are ripping him for not wanting to play on the Olympic team. He's 36 years old. No one, Why would no he want to play in the Olympics? No one plays in the Olympics this late in their career. No. Especially for a guy who had basically no offseason last year. It makes no sense. An early exit might be Gosh. good for his career, actually in the long run. Now, Seriously. his former teammate, Channing Fry said, if LeBron is averaging less than tw or tw 25 points per game, I think he should retire. Who are the Lakers bringing in that can put him over the top? This is absolutely ridiculous. It's ludicrous. Number one, he averaged exactly 25 points per game this year. Just want to point that out. And number two, if AD doesn't get hurt, they were up 2-1 in that series before that happened against Phoenix. There's a very real chance they win that series. Now, things didn't go to plan this year. They didn't play as well as they did a year ago, and they have some roster questions. I think we're in agreement on that. For but sure, yeah. LeBron isn't one of them. Like, he's still a top three, top five player in the league. Look at the numbers from last year, Chase. He's still spectacular. He can still win titles when healthy. The LeBron slander is all over Twitter right now. I mean, people are taking every opportunity they can to just rip him to shreds. And it's funny. Before that high right ankle sprain at the end of March, he was in the MVP he conversation at 36 yeah. years old. He might have won it. And still, he's able to put up in his age 36 season 25 points per game, eight rebounds. He's dishing out he's the same almost guy eight, nine assists per night. Decade. Yeah. <laughs> so even if he's averaging 29 and seven, Still not a reason to retire. That's ridiculous from Channing Tatum. He's new to the media. I think he's just trying to generate hot Channing takes. Tatum, Channing Fry. It's the same guy here. Yeah, on yeah, yeah. yeah Ch Ch By Channing the way, Fry. I just want to throw this out there. <laughs> if LeBron retires after this season, I will retire. You will not see me anymore at Chat Sports if LeBron retires this no season. No way. Clip it. Roll back the tape. We'll save this one. There's no I'm chance. I'm quitting too. LeBron James. Hey, Chase will join me. We'll, we'll, go, we'll start flipping burgers, whatever it takes. If LeBron retires, we'll retire. There's no chance it happens, especially since Bronny ain't entered the NBA yet. We know he's going to try and team exactly up with right. his son. So don't worry about it. He'll be back. And guess what? The Lakers will be contending once again next season. How about this one? Will LeBron James win another title? This is actually an interesting question, not the thought of retiring. Type one for yes, type two for no. Do you have a gut feeling on this? Will he get a fifth ring? I'm going to go ahead and type my one. He gets one more ring I'm before not it's all against, said and done. I'm not betting against the king. One for yes, two for no. This will be fascinating to see what the Lakers do this offseason. What's also fascinating is will Damian Lillard continue to stay loyal to Portland? because they got eliminated once again in the first round, lost in six games despite his heroics. I believe he's either set a record for three-pointers in a series, Dame did, in a six-game series. In a game two, in game five. Yeah, yeah, it's just unbelievable what he did, and they still lost. The reason people have these trade rumors circulating on the Internet is, well, he did post a cryptic message on Instagram last night. This is what he posted, and it was a quote from the late, great Nipsey Hussle. How long should I stay dedicated? How long until opportunity meets preparation? An old Nipsey lyric there uh, from Dame after their Game 6 loss to the Nuggets. I've gotten to the point with athletes that I take everything they post on social media with a grain of salt. I think 90% of the times what they it's not calculated. It's just or, or it's calculated in the sense that they're just trying to throw people off. I don't necessarily think that this means he's going to demand a trade though. I don't think so. He's been loyal to Portland for a long time and look, let's factor in human nature here, right? He's 30 years old. 
He's been with Portland since 2012. He's made it to the Western Conference Finals one time. They failed to get him a legitimate sideways superstar. C.J. McCollum is not that. So Damian Lillard is frustrated. And then I also want to say, Damian Lillard, Steph Curry, the two clutchest bucket getters of this generation, the point here is that Damian Lillard has, let's say, three to five years left of his absolute peak prime. He needs to win a championship right now, and I would be frustrated too. And if he's going to demand a trade, maybe this is the time. However, you think the Blazers should do something else. Maybe it's time to move his number two. That's C.J. McCollum. Yeah, I, I think that's the move because I think you can get good value back for C.J. McCollum. Look, it's clear. Score. This experiment has been ongoing for several years now, and it hasn't worked in the playoffs. And C.J. McCollum is a really good number three, Harrison. Yeah. I don't think he is a top-tier number two like an Anthony Davis is to LeBron Agreed. when A.D. is healthy. So yeah. I'm trading C.J. McCollum while he still has value. He's still young. He is a really good scorer, and I think you can lure another really good player back to team up with Dame Lillard, and that could be a really, really dangerous combo. The problem with CJ and Dame together is, as special as Dame is, the guy's 6'1", 6'2". He's never going to be a great defender. Okay, that's fine. He can still be your number one. Your number two cannot also be a 6'3 or less guard that can't defend. Not in today's league. Not when no. good point guards like Luka up. Doncic are 6'7". Like, yeah. it, it's just a problem that the Blazers have run into. They can score with anybody. They can't get key stops in the playoffs, though. That's still yeah. how you win. Dame is a guy you can win a title with. I think you and I are in agreement on that, but you've got to get better defense around him. I think an ideal number two is a big wing defender who can score. That is what they need. Now, those don't grow on trees. Like, you, you got to get creative if you're Portland here, but I'm with you. I am floating McCollum out this offseason and seeing what kind of return you can get for him to team up with Damian Lillard. Now, what do you guys think? Should the Blazers trade Lillard? Type T for trade, type K for keep. I don't trade a player of that ilk unless he no absolutely way. demands to get out of Portland. So I'm typing my K for keep. But let me know what you guys think. T for trade or K for keep. Oh, the Bradley Beal trade rumors are back uh, as the Washington Wizards got eliminated by the 76ers a few days ago. And he's entering the final year of his contract. Technically, he's got a player option for the year after. But we all know how that goes. As the cap goes up, these stars, they always opt out of those player options. And he even mentioned, hey, I'm entering the last year of my deal. So he's opting out after next season. He seemed fairly non-committal following the Wizards' loss uh, to the Sixers in Game 5. Let's just take a look at what he said about his offseason coming up. He says, look, ultimately, I'm in control. I think that's the biggest thing. People are going to report whatever they want, but I know where my mind is, and I know it's not coming from the horse's mouth, That it, then it's going to be rumors. I expect them. Shit. They're starting now. <laughs> the Bradley Beal trade rumors have become the Odell Beckham trade rumors. This is they true. just come every single offseason. They're back. And uh, this will be interesting because I thought Beal would demand a trade before the deadline when the Wizards were just cooked to their credit, rallied, made the playoffs. After doing that, Think he'll stay? Where do you think this goes? So put yourself in Bradley Beal's shoes, right? He hasn't demanded a trade yet. Now, he did team up with Russell Westbrook this past season. They had a lot of success. Down but Harrison, you well. and I are not big Russell Westbrook guys. And I don't think you can win a championship with him. Not when he's your primary guy. He no. is now 8-24 and 24 in his last, what, 32 playoff Since KD games. Left. Has not made OKC. it out of the first round since KD went to Golden State and now Brooklyn. I'm out on Westbrook. If I'm Beal, maybe I give it one more year to try to see if this experiment Hit can be successful. Agency. And if not, I'm hitting the free agent market and I am securing a big time duffel bag. And that's a scary thing if you're Washington because unless you're confident Russ and Beal can make noise next year, then you lose Beal for nothing. Yep. He just walks in free agency and you don't get something bad for him where a 31-point score on the trade block, you're going to get a lot of assets for that, either young talent or future picks probably three or four first round oh, picks for, for a 31 sure. point score and maybe a couple of pick swaps as well. That's how elite of an offensive talent Beal is. I'll be curious to see how the Wizards approach this offseason. Remember, Scott Brooks' contract just ran out. Yeah. Are they going to bring him back? Is he going to be their head coach? I know Westbrook likes him. He's played for him in two cities now, Oklahoma City as well, for a couple of years. So a lot of moving parts in Washington as we move forward here. But the number one focus has to be whether or not you're going to keep or trade Bradley Beal. So before we sign off, where will Beal play this next season? Type W if you think he'll stay with the Wizards. Type O if you think it'll be other. Real quick, is he a Wizard next year? I think he's a Wizard next year. I is think that's he a the Wizard final year. after the trade deadline? 
No. You think he gets shi- and shipped mid-season? You know what I might do, or at least explore? Anthony Davis for Bradley Beal. Oh, LeBron man. loves Bradley Beal. This is it's why you subscribe to Chad yes, Sports. Sir. Chase and I are fired up. The offseason is upon us. The playoffs are still ongoing. Going to be fantastic. Answer this question and all the others, and we'll see you next time.